okay so welcome back friends we're going to do i'm going to change out the decks as i'm talking um we're going to do a evolution spread um i think i am going to use tarot but i believe i'm going to use playing cards as tarot that's exactly what's about to happen and i want to use my decks that have um other stuff on it as you know as well so it may give us a little extra cards okay so on this evolution spread the questions are going to be um what is the situation now as it exists all right the second question is going to be how the situation will evolve in the next four weeks okay so this is a timed reading although it is timeless meaning whenever you find this video is the perfect time okay um, the third question will be someone or something that will affect the situation. And the last card is going to be the outcome. All right. Um, I just want to take a moment to say thanks to everyone that has subscribed to the channel. Thanks to all my old su subscribers for coming through and showing, um, showing up. Yeah, my views have been steadily increasing month by month and comments as well. And I want to, um, thank everyone. I appreciate it. Okay. Um, and like I always say, if you haven't subscribed already, why the fuck not? Like, we are having legitimate fun over here by finding out the things that we need to find out, okay? Um, I got a DJ playing in the background here on live. So, if y'all here talking, that's what it is, okay? So, you got four decks to choose from. There's the Ouija deck. There's the Blue Bicycle. There's the Bigfoot deck. And there's the Mermaid deck, okay? One, two three or four all right and we're gonna get started we're gonna move right on into four you know what i'm gonna pause i'm gonna put a background down today i feel like uh seeing some color here hold on all right group one let's get started with you guys okay you all have the ouija deck uh this is my ancestral deck so i'm gonna choose this deck since this deck is connected to my ancestors um and just letting you know if we get any extra messages it's because my ancestors was looking out for you okay all right so let's see what is the um you want to know the evolution of a situation okay so you should have the idea of the situation in your mind and let's see how it's going to evolve all right this is the situation as it exists now, okay? This is how the situation will evolve within the next four weeks. This is someone or something that will affect your situation. And this last card is going to be the outcome. I see the light uh, dimming in and out, okay? It is broken, but I'm going to take it as a sign that uh, something's going to come to full light for you. There's something that you can't quite get a grip on and fully understand but I think in the next four weeks you will figure out what it is okay so the situation as it exists now is an ace of wands Finish. okay so you have the ace of wands so you are absolutely in a period of passion okay if this if this is a relationship or a job okay something like that you are in the position of things just being hot and heavy okay like there's there's like crazy magic inspiration going on right now okay if it's a relationship like things are just heating all the way up all right we do have the master teacher here we have a 33 okay so i do see you in a position of having the knowledge to inspire someone else okay so um in particular it, it could just be that um you came up with this idea and you will be teaching everyone your idea if it's a relationship you have taken the reins you are in the power seat and you are leading the situation okay the second card is how this situation will evolve in the next four weeks so <clears throat> you're about to reach a point where there's an infinite loop okay uh you're going for forever is what it looks like in the next four weeks the situation will find itself falling into a loop that allows it to go for a very long time also there is transformation in particular if you have if this is um if this is a romantic situation or you have a partner a work partner or something like that they are about to reach their highest power and transformation level okay um in a relationship this is more so about your partner realizing the permanence of this relationship them and them rising to the occasion okay 
um, someone or something that will affect the situation, okay? And we have a four of cups. There is someone in the situation that feels left out, okay? They feel like they are not being chosen, okay? They will throw salt on this situation. Please know it. We have hex here. They will be hexing you, even if it's as simple as looking at you and i hate this person i hate that bitch i don't oh i wish this bitch would just disappear or whatever K kill over and die because people really say these things when they look at people that they don't like okay point is is they will affect your situation slightly okay i'm not gonna say that they will affect the situation enough that it's going to derail it because it doesn't look that way because we see it enters into permanence but do know their negative energy will be felt okay these are dark clouds they are upset they do not like being left out okay the outcome of this situation for you guys is going to be a two of wands, meaning some serious plans being made to move forward. It also says generation, which lets me know that um, there are plans being made not just for the time being right now, but for the times to come successively generation means like not for the next year or not for the next 10 years but for the next 20 30 40 50 years okay so there will be steps made forward i would like to also point out that the majority of this reading is wands okay this is a passionately charged situation okay it is moving forward it will move forward there is no stopping the move forward but the only thing that's trying to is this four of cups bitch right here watch out for the haters okay all right so that's going to conclude group one's reading if you enjoyed the reading please give me a thumbs up feel free to comment down below good and or bad and let's move right on into group two hello 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 group two we're doing an evolution spread i need you to think of a situation right fucking now okay and once you get your situation let's move on into how this uh situation will evolve over the next four weeks all right so let's start off with this is the situation as it exists now, okay? This is how it will evolve in the next four weeks. This is something or someone that will get in the way, okay? Uh, or will affect the situation. It doesn't have to get in the way. Uh, affect the situation. And the last one is the outcome, all right? Let's see what the cards have to say. So the situation as it exists right now, we have four of cups, okay? Waste not, want not, okay? Um, right now, you feel like you are not being chosen in this situation, okay? You feel like you're offering something and it's not being accepted. Either that or someone is offering something and you have not accepted it because you don't want it and you don't want to keep it from someone else. Also, you may feel like, well, shit, if they don't want what I'm offering, I don't need to waste my time here. I'm going to move forward. It's going to be one of those two situations, okay? How the situation will evolve over the next four weeks. We have the queen of swords. It says there's no place like home. I'm going to tell you what's about to happen. Either you or the other party, depending on what is your original situation, is about to cut this shit off. You're just like, fuck it. I don't give a shit. It's a done deal, okay? Because I still have me. I still have my home. This other shit is outside of me and I don't need it, okay? Um, someone or something that will affect the situation. And we have a six of pentacles. Revenge is sweet. Now listen here. If you cutting somebody off, be careful. Be careful, my loves. Okay? Because... They're going to try to get some sort of revenge. Okay, and you need to know that, all right? The outcome in the situation is the five of cups. Still waters run deep. This is exactly what I was talking about. Whatever or whoever gets rejected, okay, feels extremely left out because their feelings are really, really deep. Their feelings of being left out are going to be really, really deep. And their feelings of dissatisfaction and wanting to find revenge will also be really deep. Know it and act accordingly, okay? That's why you're here getting the info, right? 
All right, so that's going to conclude the reading for group two. If you enjoyed this reading, please give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment down below, good and or bad. And let's move right on into group three. Hold up, hold up, Mr. DJ. Got to turn this up a little bit, y'all. Keep it going now. All right, group three. Here's the rules. I need you to think of a situation. Once you get your situation in your head, we're going to move on forward and see how is it going to evolve. Let's get it popping. This is the situation as it exists now. This is how the situation will evolve over the next four weeks. This is someone or something that will affect the situation. And this is the outcome. Now, um, mind you, this is a song deck, so hopefully it will fluff. All right, let's start off with the situation as is. We have a three of cups. This is about falling in love, okay? So I'm assuming this is either a new love, a new job, or a new hobby, okay? Um, how the situation will evolve over the next two weeks. Hey, listen, it's going all the way in deep, okay? We got 1238 by Childish Gambino. This is a song about sacred sex, sacred sex love, and romance, okay? So things are about to get hot and heavy, all right? Someone or something that will affect this situation. We have a five of swords. There is someone involved in your situation outside of the two of you, all right? They don't want the other person or they don't want you to have another person, okay? And they will be doing whatever they can do to slow down the progress of this relationship, okay? And the last thing is the outcome. For the outcome, we have The Last Time by Ro James, okay? This song is about being stuck in a dead-end relationship and someone new comes along and shows you how good shit can be, how passionate can be, how much they appreciate you, how much they're attracted to you, how much they're just feeling for you, okay? And they're pointing out the fact that the last person didn't. So let me tell you, to me as a whole, it looks like you're falling in love with someone. Things are getting hot and heavy. They got an ex or a current that's about to be an ex that's upset about the shit. And they're going to try to throw salt on it. But at the end of the day, your person is going to realize that you are doing it for them. Not the last person, okay? And if it's in the opposite direction, it just means that you're going to realize that the new person is doing it, doing it for you. Doing everything that the last person didn't do for you, okay? So I hope you enjoyed this reading group three. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment down below good and or bad. And we're going to roll right into our last group, which is group four. All right, group force, this is what I need you to do before we get started with this reading, okay? I need you to think of a situation, all right, that you want to know how will it evolve, okay? And let's get started. Card one is the situation as it exists right now. Right motherfucking nasty. I don't know who's in this group, but I promise you I heard somebody saying, no, you say right motherfucking now. I like to cuss anyway, so it could have just been my guy saying, throw in a couple of those little sentence enhancers, okay? Uh oh, I hear shine. Yes. All right. How will the situation evolve in the next four weeks? Someone or something that will affect the situation and the outcome of the situation. This is one of my favorite decks. It's definitely. I think it's def no, it's not my favorite that I made, but it's my second favorite. Let's get it going, all right? Um, the situation as it exists now is going to start off with a nine of swords. You are all in your head. You are feeling some sort of anxiety and pressure, maybe even depression, having trouble sleeping at night, okay? What we have here is Gretel out fox the witch she killed the witch okay so maybe you're thinking of a situation that is bothering you you're trying to figure out how the fuck can you get out of this situation you're feeling the pressure you are feeling it okay how the situation will evolve over the next uh four weeks let me start off by saying this we have two nines next to next 
this situation is almost fully played out, okay? We are at a born part of the cycle or a birthing part of the cycle, okay? Which means the new thing is about to come forth and the old thing is about to die, okay? What we have here is Jack and the Beanstalk and the Magic Beans. Guess what's about to happen? So you are going to plant some seeds. You are going to trust your gut and things are about to change. You will have hope. You will believe that magic does exist, okay and things are going to turn around all right someone or something that will influence the situation we have the four of wands okay i'm gonna start off by saying i have a note here that says the love of a grandma there is possibly a grandmother that is fueling your change and success okay um they could be living they could be on the you know next realm okay or another realm all right okay but but and but they are supporting you. The other thing you need to know is is someone is watching you. Okay? Although I said things will move forward, things will have a happy ending. There is someone following you trying to steal what you got going on. You need to know this, okay? That's just a warning that came through, okay? The last thing is the outcome, and we have the Ace of Wands. This shit is moving forward, and we're starting over. Remember I said you're at the end of a cycle, right? You're almost there. The next move is just to let it all fall as it is, and we're going to start all over with the new, better thing. What we have is, well, I already told you the Ace of Wands, but this card is Dorothy from the Wizard of Oz. In particular, the tornado that moves her from, um... Kansas to Oz, okay? It's about self-discovery. Something is going to change in you. Everything around you is going to change. All your surroundings or maybe just even the way you see them. But the point is, is that you discover you at the midst of all this, okay? All of this is bringing you to understanding yourself fully and igniting your passions, okay? So that you can move through the world passionately, okay? And that's going to conclude Group 4's reading. And it's going to conclude the reading as a whole. I hope everyone has enjoyed this reading. I hope everyone is taking care of themselves. I hope you come back for more. And just know that I love you guys. And I'll see you in the next video. Stay hydrated. Take your allergy medicine. Keep your distance. Don't be going out. Uh, wear your uh, mask and gloves. Mm -hmm. Love you. See you next video.